let us try to solve this question. Are 1 upon 2 and 3 upon 7 equivalent fractions? How can we find whether they are equivalent fractions or not? You know the procedure to find the equivalent fraction. In order to find equivalent fraction, you need to multiply numerator and denominator by same number. Now children, look at this fraction. 1 upon 2. What do you think? By multiplying with which number you will be able to get 3 in the numerator? Exactly. When we multiply both so when we are multiplying 3 with 3 on the numerator you also need to multiply denominator by 3. What do you get? 1 3's 3 upon 2 3's 6. Right? That means 3 upon 6 is equivalent fraction for 1 upon 2. But not 3 upon 7. Because when you are multiplying numerator by 3, you should also multiply denominator by 3. So when you do that, you get 3 upon 6, not 3 upon 7. That is why they are not equivalent fraction. Let us look at the next example, which is little different. Look at this question. 5 upon 6 is equal to this fraction. But here, numerator is missing. We need to find out what is the numerator of this fraction. Well, it's very clear that these fractions are equivalent fractions. Right? Now, when you take this fraction and multiply both numerator and denominator by same number, you will get equivalent fraction. That's what we have seen in the previous example. Now, let us take this fraction. Before multiplying, Numerator and denominator by same number. Look at here. What do you think? Which number should be multiplied by 6 here in order to get 24? Yes, it's 4. So when you are multiplying denominator with 4, we should also multiply numerator by 4. Right? So what is the numerator formed? 20 upon denominator 6 fourths 24. So what do you think? What is the missing numerator here? It is 20. So what can we say? With the help of equivalent fractions by with following this procedure we can also find the missing numerator or denominator as we multiply both numerator and denominator by same number. Children, we can also obtain equivalent fractions by dividing both numerator and denominator with same number. Let us see how. Uh, I will take one fraction. Twenty upon twenty-four. Now, what do you think? With which number we need to divide numerator and denominator to get an equivalent fraction? Remember? Both numbers should be same. Same. 
I will divide both numerator and denominator by 4. What do you get when you divide 20 by 4? You get 5. And in the denominator you get 6. So what can you say? 5 upon 6 is equal to 20 upon 24. They are equivalent fractions. I want you all to watch this video link for further understanding. And I want all of you to practice the same method by taking many more fractions.